And so what is leadership? Would you guys agree that leadership would be considered a hero? If, if you agree with that, say aye. aye. And so what is leadership? My belief around leadership is if you're a leader, you're a servant. And what do I mean by that? There's archetypes in every single human. And there is a hero archetype in all of us. Who in here would love to give more, do more, be a better version of yourself, create more impact? If that's you, say, that's me. That's me. It's inside all of us. So the hero's already in you. It's not about going out and finding him or her. It's about accessing that version of you inside, which is the shadows, the sides of you that you don't want anybody else to see. That's where the power lives. Guys, four years ago, I would have never stood in front of a room that I don't know and tell you my deepest, darkest secrets. But that's where the impact lives. And so that's what's inside of you. And so what is hero? In its Latin roots, hero means servo. Servo means servant. It really means slave. And so that ties into the third lever, layer of a relationship, your needs or my needs. Because if I'm serving you, if I'm stepping up and not worrying about what I went through or my difficulties or my challenges, or if you knew, because that was my story at one point. Guys, if you knew my mom was a prostitute, she smoked crack cocaine, stabbed 13 times, shot in the neck. Can you guys believe that shit? That was my life. God, feel sorry for me. I had that victim mentality, but that wasn't getting me anywhere. That wasn't getting me where I wanted to be. And so as soon as I started to shift my perspective and understanding it's my responsibility to step up and be the hero that the world needs to see. Say, be the hero the world needs to see. Say it. Be the hero the world needs to see. Say this, I want to be the hero the world needs to see. Right. It's all inside of you. It's in every single one of us. And that's the gift of doing stuff like this. That's the gift of being in proximity. Because the human mind looks for evidence to support its belief systems. And so you have to start surrounding yourself with people that have traveled the road that you want to go down. Because as soon as you start to see that they can do it, you're going to start to adopt the belief that you can do it. That I can do it. Say, I can do it. I can do anything. That's true. Because I'll tell you, 21 years ago, I did not think my life was going to be here today. And so being a servant, serving all those around you, creating a life that is all about giving back, is my mission today, which is why I'm here. This has been one of the most difficult things that I've ever done before. Opening up businesses, simple. Playing sports, simple. I was always usually the top guy getting picked in any sport. I never had problem meeting girls. I never had problem with any of that stuff. I always found my way. That, that version of life was very easy. So that also triggered my arrogance and my ego, which kept me in that selfish mindset. But as soon as I got to a place and realized like, hey, God has given you a gift to be the hero that the world needs to see, my life started to shift, my life started to change. And I knew the most important thing I needed to do was stand in front of people and share my story, share my testimony. Let people know that I am just a facilitator of change. Let people know that I am humbly here to serve you. I am humbly here to give you everything I have because I don't, the life that I have today, I'm on borrowed time. I might not make it tomorrow. October 8, 2001, my life was over. I was trauma hawked to the hospital. They did not think I was gonna live. So who am I to be so selfish? Who are you to be so selfish? What are some decisions that you know you need to make that you're not making? What are some commitments that you keep pushing off? You'll deal with it tomorrow, and then tomorrow turns into next week, and then next week turns into next month, and then next month turns into a year, and then all of a sudden you're sitting at the bar 50 years old with your friends like, man, back in my day when I played high school football, man, I was the man, you know? Who wants to live that life? Who wants to be that guy? Who wants to be that girl? Because I promise you, if you don't take action, <laughs> that is going to be your story. And I know it because I've seen every single person that I've grown up with is either dead in jail or they're living a miserable life. 
And that's not the story I wanted. And so when I made the decision that, hey, I need to cr continue on this hero journey, being a hero means serving everybody, means speaking your truth, means putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. So the very thing that I'm doing right now has been the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. But I, the meaning I give this is much greater than my fears. Because that's what a superhero does. A superhero stands when nobody else will. Say it. Superhero stands when nobody else will. Say, I will stand when nobody else will. I will stand when nobody else will. Stand up. I want you to turn around and look at your chair and say, old self, I'm moving on. I'm making the decisions that I need to become my own superhero. I appreciate you. I appreciate the lessons. I appreciate the learnings. But I'm done with that. All right, you guys can sit down. Yeah, letting you go. And so, look, yeah, give yourselves a hand, guys. Give yourselves a hand. Come on. Give yourselves a hand. Come on, come on. Give yourselves a hand.